and welcome to my video. This is my online unit that I created for my year 9 hissy class. It was a complete one term unit. The feedback that I've had from students has been overwhelmingly positive. I do really like it and I do agree with Andrew that this is a paradigm shift for the students and of course there is going to be some issues in implementation. I'm really proud of this unit. It took me a really long time to make and I really hope that you get something from having a look at it. So the unit that we are doing is investigating Australia's physical environment and here are all of our modules. I have structured this in a way that when they go on to a, a, the next section they have a, a check your work uh, section where they have to come and see me and show me the work that they've done. So in our introduction, just a quick introduction um, with letting them know how it worked. Then we had a glossary of terms task where they copied the glossary of terms and then there was a differentiated task that they had to do based on the levels that they're at um, and also something fun where they had to make a joke um, and the best joke or the one that made me laugh the most got a merit. The purpose behind this particular joke task was not to get them to write a joke but to get them to get used to looking at other people's comments. Next we moved into locating Australia in the world, some information and a video and some exercises. The students really liked the videos that I included for them and I concluded a great deal of videos and I did stress to the students that this allowed the work to be differentiated so if you needed to go back to a video if you needed to pause it while you were doing something or if you needed to you know rewatch it three times to get it then that they were encouraged to do that in order to be more self-sufficient during their learning and if they saw a video and they didn't get it then they were encouraged to go and find another video so here we've got an overview of Australia and they had a task where they had to write a paragraph. The learning support unit really liked the online unit and the structure of the online unit and one of the things that I encouraged the learning support students to do was to use the collaborative focus of this unit to help them in their work. So Riley that you can see here, she's a learning support student. And I encouraged her before she put in her paragraph to go and have a look in, at, at some of the other students. And I pointed out some of the ones that um, she should have a look at through my comments. So the great paragraph that I've given her in terms of feedback here, I did for other students so that she would know which students to go have a look at so that she could model her writing of the best students in the class. And this she found really, really useful. We then uh, did some work on geographical dimensions and this was a video that I made so it was a PowerPoint presentation with uh, some audio over the top. Mountain building was the next section that we had a look at. Yeah, information and images and uh, so some photos of Australian ones. Then we moved on to topographic maps. This is a skill that many people have a lot of trouble with, with the students when they're learning topographical maps. And I believe that this is one of the real positives of using an online unit because next term when they have their exam where they have to apply their skills of geographic maps under an exam condition, they can come back here in their preparation to look at how to do it. So for every skill, I included a video. So they had to watch the video, which is an introduction, and then they had a handout. And the handout had a step-by-step -step on how to do it. Um, and also then they had some activities that they had to do. So then they had to do gradient, there's a video, um, read the handout, complete the activity. There's some information on bearings, cross sections here, a video, and then doing the handout. So again, they had some questions on aspect, area and grid reference, watching a video, and then completing the activities. Climate and weather was the next uh, page that they had to look at. So they had to watch a video and then fill out a table. Synoptic charts and how to read them. There's a video here on teaching them what each of the aspects of synoptic charts uh, mean. We then moved on to natural hazards and natural disasters which was their assessment tasks. We first did an overview of all of the different types of hazards in Australia and this is modelled on what they needed to do for their assessment tasks. So I did cyclones for them and then they had to search and do some work on some other hazards in Australia. Cyclones, they had to create a PowerPoint presentation and I created a model one 
um, that you can see here and this is a video that I made so that I could model to them exactly what their assessment task should look like. Um, there was another video there just about cyclones as well to give them some information. The information here about cyclones again modeling on what they needed to do for their assessment task Then they had some tasks to complete. They did get through this information quite well and quite quickly but they didn't have to put anything in the comments section for this one. And this has now moved on to our next unit, which we will be starting at the beginning of next term. Overall, I've been incredibly impressed. And in fact, I've been telling all of my colleagues about it and showing them what I've done. And they're incredibly impressed um, with how this works for our students. And the, the engagement is unbelievable. So I thank Andrew very much for putting this unit together. I've really enjoyed um, my time and it's definitely changed the way I te I'm teaching and I continue to evolve as a teacher. Thank you to the unit. Thank you very much.